Now we're entering the Halloween room, which is really not made for Halloween. It was more of a New Year's room for 1925. It was. Tell me a little bit about the paintings that we're seeing. So there are murals all around us. Some of them are scenes out of Russian folk stories. Um, but we got the name because of this. there are cats and bats and witches and some spooky characters. Um, but really they are drawn from a Russian cabaret that was popular in the 1920s. <laughs> And then John and Cornelia saw it, really enjoyed it, and kind of recreated it down here in North Carolina, recreated it in Biltmore. So I see over here we see bats, and we see kind of the witches. So I can see why people started to call it the Halloween sure, room. Sure. But they're all actually scenes from this cabaret. We, in our music collection, we have the um, piano rolls from the player pianos that then they would have used to entertain people, had the music going, I'm sure had the wine flowing, I would imagine, even though it's prohibition. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes. And, and just really turned this entire space into a party space. That's fantastic. And one thing I love is that there is that um, parallel with Downton with 1925, 1925, which is our last year that we're, we're seeing. And there's parties and there's fun. And that is what it was all about. The grandeur. So is, is, is that what it makes it so fun to oh, kind of uncover makes it all this? So fun! It makes it fun to see in the show what they are wearing, to imagine that happening in these spaces, the sort of pre-planning and what the staff is doing, the hustle and bustle down below, below stairs, and the preparations that are happening up in the bedrooms, the dressing, the sort of intrigue, romantic mm -hmm. intrigue. All of that was happening at the house parties at Biltmore. So it's so fun to see it on screen and down.